light is on. Racing. Classic Jack off the inside, dwelt at the start. It was point taken first to get going. Out pretty quickly as well from the inside. Due West driving through Taj Mali, sitting outside of it through the first couple of hundred. Right behind those, Cabelling position of power posted pretty wide on the track in this small field. Then Classic Jack back with like a Jaguar and easing out to last in a compact affair is point taken. Nearing the home corner, passing the 500 and the Philly Due West led the way from Taj Mali. No Favors position of power sitting deep on the track down on the inside the grey classic Jack being followed in the middle by Cabelling like a Jaguar to the extreme outside point taken being popped the question at the 275 Taj Mali comes out after due west due west Taj Mali position of power keeps coming as well on the outside Cabelling is getting a split inside of them it's Taj Mali Cabelling Cabelling and Taj Mali they'll split the line together oh there's not much in it Taj Mali just Taj Mali over Cabelling in a tight finish to the first for the day. Third might be position of power just in front of Due West. Then Classic Jack behind them, point taken back there with Leica Jaguar. Pike has got Taj Mali home here in the first. Number four, Taj Mali. The Galar filly will just get the verdict here over Cabelling. And third, position of power. The numbers after the running of the first for the day, although still to be confirmed, Taj Mali making it four wins now from the Phillies' past five starts. She completes a hat-trick for the Cambana Lodge yard of Peter Fernie. And this three-year-old daughter of Galar with Pike lifting her home, just put the pressure down on her neck to get the touch right on the line over Cabelling in position of power who battled on well after being forced to tramp three, four deep in that small field right from the word go. As we stand by for placings, four gets it. Taj Mali, raced by P.J. Price, C. Steele, G. Greenhill and B. Royal. Also uh, Mrs. J. Relf, Mrs. K. Fernie and also Mrs. M. Dengenhart, J. Dowdle, B. Stones, T. Catlow, Andrew Ingalls and R.J. Tyrrell. William Pike aboard there for Goldfields trainer Peter Fernie over Cabelling. The patronised three-year-old out of initial outcome, trained by Robin Todd Harvey with Jade McNaught there in the saddle and position of power third home, the scandal keeper gilding from Dane Kay, David Harrison combining with Paul Harvey. Half ahead, two lengths, the margins, 59-1-2. They've posted 33-68. The closing 600 made it pretty hard for those coming off the speed to really make any impression. Due West led them to the 200 before Pike got work on got to work on Taj Mali and Cabelling first up was able to split that pair, looked the winner fleetingly. Position of power stuck to its task under the circumstances. A very admirable performance first up. Taj Mali, though, posting her fifth win in 12 starts, and she's built up a really good record for the Fernie Stable. Race number two here is the Perth Racing at Home Handicap, over 1,000 metres. Number four, Condor Heroes, comes out with, again, a small field, just the five to run in the next. One, three, six, and five are those selections. As we head back down now to the yard, the winner's enclosure after the victory, and it was a very tight finish to start the day of action and hopefully hopefully a sign of things to come later on in the day where we've got a wonderful Belmont sprint coming up during the course of the program here as Pike makes his way back now into the winner's enclosure. Very nice book of rides today and he uh, gets on the board very early with Taj Mali and a close finish. Trainer Peter Fernie joins me now. Peter, horse that hasn't been on the soft or heavy going before. Were you concerned coming here today about how she'd get through the ground? I was a little bit concerned, but I think everyone was in the same boat, so we just got to put them in and hope they go all right. She was the horse that won the Sky Racing Provincial Championship heating Kalgoorlie. You elected not to go to the final, obviously over 1,400. Today, dropping back to 1,000. Is that better suited for her? I think at this stage of her career, like she sat outside him in 1,000 today, so I think she would have pulled too hard in a 14. Um, she's done a really good job. She most probably have a month off now she's doing everything right we'll just wait and see how she pulls up but she's been a good little buy for all concerned and makes a huge difference when you put Willie on he's so good on them sort of horses Absolutely. when it comes to a tight finish you uh, always want him on watching it live were you confident that you had it I was sitting with Mark Sestage and Neville and they thought I'd won so they're better judges than me
definitely have a good eye. It's a big couple of days of racing with the uh, long weekend here in WA. You have a few runners across the board. Is there anything you can steer the punters into over the next few days today, tomorrow and Monday? Tovin will go all right at uh, Pinjarra tomorrow. I, I don't mind him. OK, well, new acquisition to your stable. Looking forward to seeing how he, he goes and congratulations here. Thanks, Britt.